Welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step method of making a pendant lamp like this one using SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling tools. So let's get started. So now let's start with the very first thing and that's the bulb which we'll make first. So to do that, I'll go to sketch and I'll select the sketch and front plane. Now here I'm going to use a reference image. So I'll go to tools, sketch tools and sketch picture. All right, now here is the Edison bulb which I'm going to use as a reference. So I'll select it and click open. If you want to use the same image, then you can download it using the link in the description. Now this is the image which we have. Now as you can see, it is just huge and we just need to fix its size properly. Now to do that, I'm just going to move this slider. So I'll just move this slider right about here and I'm going to move this arrow here. So this is the actual direction where I just want to change the size. Now this total length, I'm going to make it 150 mm. So I'll type 150 and OK. All right, now it is set. Let's move it on origin, which is about here. All right, so that's just an approximate location. You don't need to be very precise with this one. So click OK and we have the image. Now using this as a reference, I'm going to make the profile. So I'll go to spline and let's zoom into this area. And I'm going to start right here. So here we have it. So the next point and the next and the last point. All right. Now, of course, this is not the way the spline should follow. So I'm just going to modify this spline using all these spline points. So I'll select this point and I'll move it just like this. Also, I'll select this point and I'm going to move it just inside so that it follows the profile as closely as possible. So this one too, I'm just going to select and maybe I'll slightly move it like this. All right. And this one here. So I'm just going to move it like this. All right. And we are almost done. So there we are. So this is the final shape. Now, in this case, I'm just not going to just make it extremely precise as per this path. So though if you want to, you can certainly do that as well simply by moving the spline handles in a much more precise location. But for now, this looks kind of OK for me. So there we are. Now I'll add the remaining things, which is line from this point to this center line, but in horizontal direction. So I'll just ensure that it is perfectly horizontal right about here and also a single straight line which starts here and just ends right about here. OK, so there we are. Now also I just need to ensure that these two are exactly coincident. So they should be here we are. I'll just select this origin point and this line and I'll make it coincident. OK, now I'll go to center line and I'll create a center line. This will be the line which we'll use as axis of revolution. So we are now done with this. Now exit out of this sketch and feature and revolve boss base. That's the one which I'm going to use. Now this is the profile and this is this tiny line is axis of revolution. So axis of revolution is highlighted. I'll just select that axis and profile is automatically selected. It will create this kind of rounded boss base feature. So with that, I'll click OK. And here we are. This is the bulb. So the first feature is done. Now let's make the second feature. So I'll go to sketch again and Again, I'm going to use the front plane, the same plane which I used for the bulb, and I'm just going to make the second feature. Now, this should also start right about here, and I'll just also try to just track this point like this. There we are. Let's add the dimension, which happens to be 15. So I'll just add a perfect dimension maybe, or you can also leave the default. So 15.31, maybe just, let's just leave it so that it is completely coincident here. So 15.31 is this length. And uh, also this one is, approximately 14 so i'll just make it 14 the exact distance here and a fillet right about here of radius 6 and we are done now once again i'm going to add a center line because we are going to once again create a revolved feature so here we are we've got the center line exit out of this feature and revolved there we are it's just creating that feature but i'm just going to uncheck this merge result because now we are creating it with separate materials this is going to be the glass and this is just metal so this should be different so i'll click ok and there we are we have got these two things okay now that's done 
Now the main part of the drawing and for that I'm going to create a surface. So let's go to a sketch and start with sketch and again front plane. Now this will be the outline of the lamp. So I'll select spline and using a spline I'm now going to create that outline. So I'm just going to start right about here. Again as you can see this is completely approximate location so that's what I'm going to do and here and uh, this should just go outside and then it should just move in about here. All right. And once again, using these spline handles, you can change the shape and you can just modify it. So this is the outline of our lamp. Now, again, I'm going to create a center line. So I'll just select this point and here we have the center line. All right. Now let's exit out of this sketch. But before I do that, I think I should just increase this value. Maybe I'll just move it right about here. This should go here and this too, just slightly like this. And I think it is very close to this. So I'll just move it a little bit further away from this just to create some room here. Here we are and just slightly. OK, so now we have slightly different shape here. OK, now with that, exit out of this sketch. Now we need to create again a revolved profile. But this time, as you can see, I have a completely open sketch. So I'm going to use surface and revolved surface. This is the profile and this is the center line. So automatically it will select the center line as soon as you select the profile. Just click OK and we have a surface. Now surfaces are these kind of things. This is completely hollow. As you can see, it's completely open profile. And that's what I'm going to get here for this. Now I'm going to use this as a reference and I'll make a sketch. Now for that, I'll go to sketch and underneath this is spline tool. We have a tool called spline on surface and this is the tool I'm going to use now. I'll start here at this point and now I'm going to follow this surface. And so now the spline will exactly follow the surface. So just select the second point, then rotate it slightly and then maybe here the next point, then again rotate it slightly and then the last point. Now the last point is maybe here and then I'm going to click right about here. OK, so I've got four of these points and now if I rotate this, you can see the profile which I'm getting. So this is completely unique kind of profile which I have now. So now that you have the profile, you can hide this surface. So I'll exit out of this and now I'll hide this surface. It's no longer required. So let's hide it. OK. Now using this, once again, I'm just going to create a sweep profile and I'm going to use a circular profile for that. So you don't need to make anything if you are using a circular profile. So I'll go to feature, sweep and I'll select circular profile. Now just select this spline and it will create this kind of sweep profile right along that. OK, so that's done. Now with 10 mm diameter of this profile, I'll just click OK, though you can increase or decrease the value if you want. But I think that 10 mm kind of looks good for this. So I leave that value. Now let's go to circular pattern and I'm going to create pattern using this. So the first thing is, well, feature. So this is the feature which we need to select and then we need to select direction. So select direction and now the direction is this. So I'm just going to use anything from this bulb. So maybe this circle as the direction. There we are. We've got this thing here. So it will automatically create this kind of profile. Now we have 15 objects selected here. If you don't have that, you can increase or decrease this number. And I think I'll just make it 18. So now we have 18 objects, which kind of makes it really good. So it's very close and that's the kind of shape which I want. So I'll just leave 18 objects for now and click OK. And this is the lamp which we got. So as you can see, our basic outline of this lamp is almost finished. We just need to make some final touches and we just need to uh, clean it up a little bit. Now to do that, I'm just going to once again select sketch. And before we do that, I think we should make a surface. So maybe I'll go to feature, reference and plane. And uh, I'll just create a plane using this top plane as a reference. And now I'll flip the direction here using this flip offset so that it is in this direction and add a bit of distance. So it should go somewhere here. All right, here. So about 240 mm right here. All right. Now using this plane, I'm going to create another sketch. So sketch, right? 
and I'll go to circle and using this center I'm just going to create a sketch which is this big all right diameter let's add 140 dia for this sketch all right exit out of this so this is the circle which we got now I'll go to feature and extruded boss base and extrude this thing but for extruding this I'm going to select mid plane I want to extrude it equally in both the directions and using this arrow I'll just add a height now I'll just make sure that height is long enough to pass this last point of this lamp so that's the idea here and it should not touch this bulb so that's the only thing so this is what we got and with that I'll click OK okay now I missed a very important step here I'll just right click on this boss extrude feature and I'll select edit feature and the step which I missed is this merge result we need to ensure that this is unchecked because we want to make it as a separate body so now merge result should be unchecked and then I'll click OK now we have two separate bodies actually several bodies here 18 here and then 19th body here all right so we are just going to now subtract one body from another and, and for that I'll go to insert feature and combine now here I'll select subtract and in the main body I'll select this array now this array is combined because of this point so this is all just connected and it's just one single body so it will just select that and then we have bodies to combine option where I'll select this cylinder now with subtract selected if I click show preview this is what we are going to get so it will create this kind of big hole in a completely circular way so it's going to use it as a reference to create this hole and now with that I'll click OK and this is what we have just the kind of profile which we need and I think we should hide this plane as well so I'll select the plane and click on hide so we've got this as well if you are planning to learn SOLIDWORKS with step-by-step -step comprehensive video lessons quizzes and practice exercises supported by Q&A forum from instructor then check the video courses offered by us on SourceCAD website you can get access to all the courses with one single subscription and you can start learning for free using seven day free trial so whenever you feel like opting out you can cancel the subscription anytime and you are also protected by 30 day money back guarantee so click the link in the description of this video to start your seven day free trial so now it's time to add the details here and we'll start adding detail using this pendant cap so here I've got this lamp and I'm just going to add a cap here which holds everything together now to do that I'll go to sketch and here once again I'm going to start with the front plane all right and right here I'm gonna start with spline so maybe about this high I'm gonna start the first spline so here and here and I'll just end this spline right here now this may not look like kind of the shape which we want but we'll fix it in a moment but first let's just move it right about here exactly in line with this and also I'll ensure that this is perfectly horizontal so I'll just select this diamond here and then maybe I'll just move it slightly now I'll select this diamond and I'll make it horizontal okay that's done now we'll just move it somewhat like this all right so that it has this kind of shape and here I will also move it slightly here now I'll also make sure that this is just outside this last profile so that it kind of moves like this all right maybe you can just move it further out all right now here we have the bulb so I just need to ensure that the bulb is actually connected with this and for that I'll just add a line here a horizontal line it should be long enough for this so it should be horizontal and it should just end right about here and now you can clearly see that it is actually touching it slightly so that's the idea here it should touch this as well so I'll move it slightly here all right and it's of course touching all the other things here so that's the profile the pendant all right now I'll make a straight line way up to this point and then the center line for this so center line is gonna be like this so I've got this profile and again I'll just revolve it so exit out of this and now go to feature revolve boss base feature now axis of revolution is this and this is the profile click OK and we are done now in this case we ended up combining it with all the other bodies and the result is just one single solid body we don't want that so I'll go to revolve 
edit feature and I'll just uncheck this merge result and okay now we have this thing as a separate body so we have four bodies so what are these so we have got one body here second body is this bulb then the next body is this bulb cap and the last body is this mesh which is this pendant lamp all right so we have got this finally maybe we can add a wire as well let's do that so I'll go to sketch and again I'll select the front plane so with this spline I'll just start slightly here and just a line a random kind of a spline like this exit out of this and we'll just use sweep and I'm going to sweep a circular profile of 5 mm or maybe even 4 mm there we are and once again I'll ensure that merge result is not checked so that we get a completely separate profile here click OK and we have a new body this is wire okay so we have got everything now and before we add the material let's rename all of these bodies properly so I'll go to solid body folder expand it and the first one is revolve feature and this looks like the bulb so I'll just slowly double click here and I'll call it bulb then I'll go to revolve to feature which is the cap of this bulb so slowly double click and let's call it bulb cap then we have this combined feature which is the actual lamp so I'll slowly double click and let's call it lamp all right then revolve 3 that's the lamp cap so lamp cap and finally we have this feature which is the wire slowly double click and rename it this is wire okay we are done now it's time to add the materials and for that I'll go to this appearances scenes and decals option right here and here we have usually well these three options just go to appearances expand it and you can see the category of appearances that we have for us so in this case I'm just going to start with this wire that's plastic so let's go to plastic we don't have that many plastic material here so I'll just simply select shiny cream wax so just select and drag and drop it here now we have several options to select and as you can see this is just a separate body so just select body from this option and it is applied on this body let's repeat it again so now I'll go to metal and let's make it black metallic kind of object so for that I will go to iron so I'll expand metal and I'll select iron and I'll select this matte iron so select drag it and drop it here and select body all right selected now we'll make this pendant lamp with brass or maybe even bronze so let's just go to this and I think brass should be good for this so I'll select brass and I'll select this brushed brass now of course you can select this uh, polished one if you want a different appearance so maybe I'll just select brush brass and I'll just apply it here and I'll select body so this is the kind of appearance which we are going to get if however you select something else like this polished one your appearance will look slightly different of course all these appearances will look even better when you use the rendering environment and just render this thing finally but for now we are not going to render it we'll just apply the materials right here all right now finally the bulb for the bulb we of course need glass so let's go to glass we have three of these I'll select clear glass and I'll apply it right here on the bulb so the body and just zoom into this area you can see this thing here now that's the aluminium thing so I'll just use aluminium for this so again metal and it should be aluminum and here I am going to select this matte aluminum and I'll just apply it here that's the body where we need to apply it and this is finally done so that's how you can create this pendant lamp in SolidWorks and also apply all these materials to give it this kind of look